Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to create a wind vane. You will need a round drinking cup with lid or round food storage container with lid. This is what I found. I ate ice cream and I have a container with lid. You will also need a paper plate. This is a paper plate. Uh, rocks or sand. I found uh, soil. You will need sharpened pencil. Do we have sharpened pencil? With a rubber. Drinking straw. Straight pin. I don't know if you can see. This is straight pin. Paper. Quite thick. Marker. And compass. If you don't have compass, like, well, I don't have a compass then you can ask your parents to download the compass from the App Store or from Google uh, Store. We are going to start by putting the paper plate on the plastic container. So we have the plastic container. We are putting the paper plate on it and we have to turn all of it upside down, like this. Now, we have to trace with the marker around the container. With a ruler, we have to divide the paper uh, plate into four equal parts. We have four equal parts. And now we have to write the words for the four parts on the comp of the compass. have to take the container, open it, put uh, rocks or sand or soil, as I have soil, inside. This way the wind will not blow our container away and close the container. You can also use a tape. Now we have to put this container here, we have to stick it. You can do it with the tape. I don't have a tape, so I'm going to use a, a hot glue gun. We have to stick it upside down. Now this part, uh, for this part you will probably need your parents to help you, because you have to make a hole here uh, in the middle of the container. Okay, so we have a pencil inside. What you need to do now is to take your paper and cut the triangle and the square out of it. Now, when we have those two shapes ready, uh, we are taking this straw and then we have to cut the slit in each end of the straw. So here. Now we are sliding the triangle onto one end and the square onto another. And we have the arm. Now in this part you will probably need your parents' help because we have to push the pin through the center of the straw. My pin uh, is quite big at the end so I'm going to try to make a hole first and then to put it inside. And I'm going to use this to make it stick a little bit better. Now what I need to do is I have to push the pen here to the eraser to attach it to the top of the pencil. Okay, this is how it looks from the top. My arrow is ready and now if I'm going to push the straw it should go, it should move easily and if you blow on it it should go easily as well. Now take this outside 
to a place where the wind is not high because then it will get destroyed and observe the wind vane look which way it is pointing and from where it is coming if the arrow is pointing there it means that the wind is going this way and from that way I'm going to use my hair dryer to show you um, how it works also remember to put this uh, accordingly with a compass so we have to find north it means that n and n here they need to match okay we have north there so it means that we are going to put our wind vane like that and now let's check what is going to happen if I blow it with my hair dryer. So if the wind is coming from south, 